we're on the western coast of Alaska, uh, on the edge of the Chukchi Sea, working out of the Red Dog Mine port facility. Uh, we've captured and released uh, 47 polar bears to date. This is some of the first research uh, that, that's been done on this polar bear population. Uh, it's actually the third year of our project out here, so we're just, just starting to learn what's, what's going on with the polar bears out here. One of the main challenges of working in this area, as opposed to, to working uh, studying polar bears other places in Alaska, is that we have to go so far out over the sea ice to find polar bears. In order to collect the information that we need to, to understand and conserve this species, we really need to actually physically capture a limited number of polar bears. At that time, we collect a suite of, of biological uh, information, physical measurements. Uh, we apply transmitters to a few bears that allow us to know where those bears uh, spend their time. The only way to really capture a polar bear is from a helicopter. Our ability to operate safely and effectively out here depends upon a pilot that's uh, experienced in the Arctic, uh, understands the weather, can fly the, the helicopter aggressively uh, and, and safely when we're, when we're uh, pursuing and darting the bears. In coming out and doing this work, we recognize that uh, we are inconveniencing uh, and, and stressing these animals that we do capture. Um, we have an ethical and a scientific obligation to minimize those stresses. So both to make it as easy as possible on the bears and, and to maximize the amount of scientific information that we collect and the information that we can use uh, to, to improve the future for the species as, as a whole. Well, one of the most important things we do out here is to give each bear a unique number. Uh, for example, this will be bear 21184. Um, if we recapture this bear, or if somebody else somewhere else in the Arctic recaptures this bear 10 years down the road, again, they'll know it's 21184 and know it was a bear that we caught here in 2010 in the Chukchi Sea. And so that information, uh, as far as which bears you captured, when and where, is really important to estimating things like population size, how many of them are out here, and their survival rates, uh, how, how many of them survive from year to year. One of the ways we record this unique number on the bear is to put small tattoos on the inside of the upper lip. So that's what I'm going to do right now. It really helps to mark individual animals and be able to follow their fates through time. I'll rub some more ink into it. So this is a, a marking that the bear will carry for the rest of its life. Well, one thing that, that sometimes gets overlooked when you talk about polar bears and, and polar bear conservation uh, is the, the human aspect of it. There are people living here uh, in the coastal regions in polar bear country that, that have been living here for, for tens of thousands of years, and the polar bear is, is, is an integral part of their traditional subsistence lifestyle. Uh, here in the U.S. And, and throughout many parts of the Arctic, there is a, a, a regulated subsistence hunt for polar bears. And it's really a conservation success story in that these harvest levels, uh, these levels of subsistence harvest, um, have been maintained uh, at a relatively low level that meets the subsistence needs of local communities, but also uh, results in, in stable, healthy polar bear populations. So that is one of the main conservation goals out here in the Chukchi Sea and throughout the Arctic is to study these populations well enough to understand how many bears can be taken uh, each year for subsistence purposes uh, without harming the population or reducing the number of bears that are out here for future generations. The primary conservation concern for these animals is loss of their sea ice habitat associated with climatic warming. Uh, the polar bears need this sea ice to walk on, to go catch seals, to go tap into this, these rich uh, marine energy resources. Uh, so in the long term, if the sea ice continues to change as, as is forecasted by climate models, um, polar bears in the next 50 to 100 years will likely be greatly reduced in their numbers and range. Really do draw on uh, a lot of people and organizations, again from the native communities uh, through the industrial operations. Um, everybody is really working together uh, with the common goal of, of understanding and conserving uh, this incredible animal.